Okay, this is the adhesive tape that we supply, um, which has been designed in such a way to uh, fit on the frame perfectly. Um, we actually find it easier to actually clip away some of the central parts of the tape. Um, it just makes it a bit easier to actually put that onto your iPhone. Okay, so the first part is just unpeeling like so, and then just popping on to the relevant part of the screen. Like so. Okay, so there you can see all sections of the tape are flush on the, on the frame. Okay, once the tape is stuck onto the frame, simply scrape the frame like so. The, the stickers like so, to really stick down the tape. makes it far easier to remove the tape in a bit. Okay, now it's a simple case of removing the top layer of the tape, like so, on each of the sections. Sometimes you need to stick it down a little bit if it's peeled up. Okay, if you have some issues in removing the tape, like I just did, then simply use the slotted screwdriver and work your way underneath and peel off like so. So now the frame is ready to have the digitizer stuck onto it. Okay, this is a newly supplied um, 3G digitizer. Uh, the 3 gs will fit on exactly the same way. Um, and there's actually four seals on it. There's one on this side and there's three on this side. Um, when installing the new um, digitizer, uh, we always tend to leave this side on because it makes it easier to work with. Um, but there's actually three seals here that need to be removed. The first one's under the on the bottom here, so just pull away. Um, the second is here. And the last, uh, you actually peel away from this section here, and it's on the underneath of the digitizer screen. Now, one word of caution: it's important that once you've removed the seals, not to touch the underside, um, because otherwise you run the risk of actually having fingerprints on the underneath of your screen. Okay, so once you've removed those three seals, you, it's then time to pop it back onto the tray. Um, and it's a case of ensuring that the home button is lined up with the hole here and these connections here fit underneath this section of the tray. So, like so. And then it should push down fairly easily. And this is one of the reasons why we leave 
the seal on this side because we can actually just push down like that and make sure it's seated really nice and firmly. And so when you open up this side, you should feel a quite a definite click here like you would once it's installed. Okay, it's now time to put the LCD back into the, 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 the frame. So simply reverse the procedure from before. The LCD fits under here like so. You might need to pull the frame out slightly. There we go. Just to make sure the, the holes are lined up. And then we can screw the LCD back into the frame. Okay, so now we're going to screw these tiny screws back into the, um, the frame to hold the LCD in place. Okay, so we're now ready to reconnect the uh, digitizer and LCD to the base of the phone. A um, couple of words of advice. Um, if you notice this ribbon connector, hit, uh, connector here, just make sure that's folded up. Um, and the first one to connect will be the number three connector here, um, which plugs in here. Um, just to make sure that white lever is in the upright position. Okay, so it plugs in like so. And that's in the in, um, that is all the way in. And once that's in, simply connect, um, flick the lever down. Like so. Then you're ready to connect the other two connections. Here and here. Um, I've done it fairly quickly there because I'm used to connecting these connections, um, but you, you'll really need to feel your way around that. And then once all they're all connected, you can fold the iPhone back in like so. Okay, so now all we're left to do is replace the two main screws. Like so. And the iPhone is ready to be switched back on. And at this point, you can actually remove the film. <laughs> 